One of the things I love about feature animation is that we understand the importance of research and I think it's one of the things that makes our movies um, go the extra mile. And so we had the opportunity to spend three weeks in China. There was a group of ten of us that went, but prior to that event, Barry and I worked for probably four to five months coming up with exactly the right itinerary. We did know that we wanted to show icons of what we would expect of China. and. So we knew we wanted to see the Great Wall. We knew we wanted to see the hills in Guilin where people see those and, and immediately it reminds you of China or you think of China. Our first day there, we went to the northern part of the Great Wall. And I remember the day very clearly. It was beautiful weather. And we climbed up these stairs and got on the Great Wall and it was quiet. And all of a sudden, Barry Cook said, listen. And you could hear the sound of these flags. And all along the Great Wall, as far as you could see in that particular location, were flags. And we said, get the camera, get the camera. And we we're photographing these flags. Now, I'll never forget the sound of it. And when you watch the movie, you'll notice that there's a huge use of flags. Chief Fu has one, and the soldiers from the Emperor's Guard have one. They're all over the place, and they were inspired by that one moment on the Great Wall. Also a really great thing that we learned in China, and I think it may, may have actually led to the term poetic simplicity, is the Moon Gate. And if you read about the Moon Gate, there is one source that says the Chinese used the Moon Gate to force one person at a time to enter the doorway, and the Moon Gates lead into the garden. So you go in there one person at a time so that you can appreciate the beauty of what you're about to see. I'd be traveling on the bus and the roads are pretty rough and I'd have my little sketchbook in the back and I was looking for anything that was unique. Uh, one thing I remember drawing was uh, different design fence posts like fence designs and we actually utilized some of the fence designs and some of the uh, women's hairstyles as well and I seen a lot of their uh, nature, the way they drew leaves and flowers, just anything basic around a house or around a building. So everything was kind of related to nature with, uh, with the Chinese culture that we really wanted to get across in this film. You'll notice when you watch the movie that there is an ancestor temple in Mulan's household and dad goes there to pray and Mulan goes there when she makes her decision and this was inspired by something we saw when we were on the trip they pray in front of what are these, they almost look like headstones. And on those, they're called bays, B-E-I. And in China are inscribed all of the ancestors' names. And so when they pray, they're actually praying to their ancestors, which inspired a story point, because we put the ancestors inside that temple after we found that out. You'll also notice when you look at some of the architecture in the movie that the roof line, the corners of the roof line sort of curve up like this. And it's sort of typical when you look at that, you think of Chinese architecture. But what we found out is that they were designed that way to lift the eye up to the heavens. And we liked that and so we used it in the movie. We went to the Magao Caves, and that was the only reference we could find studying the Northern Wei Dynasty. So there were cave paintings inside these, these caves, but there was no light inside the caves. So I brought a flashlight in with me, and because um, I had to draw, I had to hold the book with one hand. I had the flashlight in my mouth, and I'd shine it on the cave and shine it in my hand, doing uh, some designs from the Northern Wei Dynasty as far as the color goes, the style of the rooftops. Um, the, the, the structure design of the, how the pillars are, door details, costume designs, it was all mapped out. Finally this guard was standing there and uh, I guess he felt a little sorry for me so he came in and he held the flashlight for me and he'd shine it on the wall and shine it on my book and shine it on all. So that was, that was a neat little thing that happened. And, and we actually used a lot of the designs from that cave for uh, the emperor's design of his clothing. Not necessarily the color but the design. Send your troops to protect my people. My favorite part of the trip was actually going into cities and watching how people lived and the, the homes were set up differently. It's kind of like a compound which you can see reflected in Mulan's house because part of the house would be one room and the rooms aren't connected and so you'd have to go outside and go to the other room and we, had, we got great pictures of that and that inspired where Mulan lived. 
So we were looking for those types of things where, you know, here's a chair that could fit into the time period of Mulan. Here's a, you know, a vase that could fit into this period. To the smallest detail, we were looking for that type of thing. When we were in China, we saw these foo dogs or foo lions, and we knew that we had to use them in the movie. So you can see them in a couple of places, but one of the ones where we use it to actually progress the plot is they're sitting outside in front of the emperor's palace, and Shang and Mulan and the Gang of Three use them to break the door down. Towards the end of the trip, one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to, and it was the Guilin area. I bet we took a thousand pictures just of that area, and you can see that reflected in the geography of the movie. After spending three weeks in China, I felt an affinity to the people and to the culture that I don't know that I can really explain. And I remember being there and taking pictures and writing in my diary and just absorbing it and also noticing the interaction, the importance of the story of Mulan to the people. And I came home and went, you know what, we are going to do the story justice. And we're going to try to use all of the really great research we got there. And we're going to put it in the movie.